Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Dia and welcome back to a brand new video. Today, I'm tr first of all, a little new camera position. I can actually get the camera onto the main monitor now, which I might actually end up using. We're gonna tr we're gonna test a couple different camera angles, see what works out, see what you guys like, see what don't, stuff like that. So you guys can actually see more of like my desk and what's above me and everything instead of just like looking at the PC and the terrible cable management I have. But today I'm just going to keep it cut and dry and I'm going to try and keep this video kind of short and sweet in quotes. But I am no longer going to be playing a Demon Souls, at least for the foreseeable future. I've calmed down a lot. I've been on like hold, I guess you could say with this idea for probably, I don't know, like a couple, like 30 30 minutes or so like i stopped playing i took a deep breath so i just went to record old hero old hero boss fight that area leading up to the boss is so fucking annoying just because of the amount of shit that like can happen that's not out of your control rather but there's so much stuff to micromanage in your head like you drop down into the area then you have to fight the demons or not demons sorry the reaper and all his spirits or whatever if you kill the reaper he'll kill all the spirits in the area then you have to run outside and you have to transverse this cliff with blue-eyed skeletons. For those of you who don't know, the blue-eyed skeletons will constantly roll at you and deal damage when they hit you, as well as come out of the roll and into a swing. So you have to bait out the swing. Well, you have a cliff face that's about that fucking wide, and they take up about that much space, so it's kind of difficult. Um, so you have to kind of cheese them a little bit. Then you have golden knights, which have, like... A thousand extra health and take 20 less damage from my swings so i just gotta dodge around those and then you have more spirits but instead this time i'm just slowly mailing you have lasers there's one that they fucking just shoot energy beams out of their fucking eyes like a cyclops and that does like two-thirds of my health in one hit and if i don't wear my heaviest armor that shit one shots me and so i go through that and then you get to another cliff face and you're fine and then you get to this room full of like slugs and shit after you kill the second reaper and, but you're like, oh, slugs would be fucking cool. There's this, these white orbs that go around, and they just, they, they basically, if they hit you, they, they'll one-shot you, but the radius is tiny. But they also one-shot the, the little slugs that are in the area, which do next to no damage. And then you get to the actual boss. And the boss is the old hero. For those of you who don't know, every boss in this fucking game has some type of gimmick that makes the boss much easier. Um, this one is fucking blind. And if you just walk around, he'll start swinging aimlessly. But here's the catch. You hit him twice, he all of a sudden, like, tracks you. He, like, starts- he flails randomly, but then he, like, tracks you. He then turns around, goes to swing, and even if you're in a different area, like, you hit him from behind, you run to the other side after he's jumped behind him, he'll turn around and still chase you. He knows exactly where you are, even if you're not running, for, like, during this little sequence. And then he goes on, like, I guess, he goes on cooldown, he goes on CD, and you just fucking- Rinse and repeat, and this boss takes you a fucking eternity. That was the boss I'm fighting, and that boss in the little area has all three things which I'm about to talk about because, uh, and these are things that I'm going to talk about. So why I'm not playing the game anymore. First one is uh, bonfire grace location, whatever you want to call it. It's ridiculous. The fact I have to, if I did, let's say I get the boss to like. You know, I get to the boss. I die in the boss area. The fact that I have to rerun through the entire rest of the area is ridiculous. It's fucking insane that I have to do this regularly. And the boss and the area is harder than the boss itself. I fought the boss four times in an hour and a half. And a lot of what I'm saying can be solved by just get fucking good. That's not the point I'm making. I want to feel like if I get good, I'll be rewarded. I don't feel like I'm rewarded in Demon's Souls if I get better at the game. I feel as if I'm very much, for lack of a better term, cast aside. Like I'm in, basically in the blender. I'm basically just put in the blender of Souls games. And I know this is the first Ghost Souls game ever made and it's just remastered and remade or whatever. But holy fucking shit, am I sick and fucking tired of playing this game. I'm using the boss order wiki page to kind of figure out how I'm going to play the game. And all I'm saying is the fact that they put the fourth and fifth easy, or sorry, I think it's the fifth and sixth easiest bosses in the two hardest areas is preposterous, insane, horrible. Why the fuck are they doing it? I don't know. Makes no damn sense. Just fucking shred it. Also, another thing is the Im insane amount of diminishing returns. And what I mean by that is I lost about a hundred thousand souls in that whole area. I got 30,000 on my first go through because of just all the shit that I killed and everything that happened and whatever. When I died, I died before I get back my souls. Fine, I lost my souls. It's on me. But then I lost another 20k and another 20k and another 10 and another 10 and the list goes on and on and on and on and on. If you kill the boss 
you get, I think it's 33,750 souls. And if you, you consume his demon soul without using it to upgrade any items or gain, I think it's a, a miracle, you get another 36k. That makes that number 69,750. So we're gonna make that number just 70k for easy math. At the stage I'm in right now, if I go and kill this boss on my next try without killing anything else leading up to it, I am looking at 30% diminishing returns and it's only going to get more and more and more to the point where I could lose probably 200,000 souls and get 60k back. Okay, I lost 100 and... 40,000 souls. I don't want to play a game like that. I don't want to play a game where I'm constantly just in the deficit. I'm constantly just losing shit. Now, I know souls games are meant to challenge you. You're going to die a lot. It is what it is. I understand that. But I want it I want to lose the souls because of my own decision making not to spend them. Like if I have 50, if let's say I rock up to the boss door of um Mog Lord of Blood with 50,000 souls and I don't spend them at the bonfire that's right there and I die and then I go back into the arena I die again I don't get them back I want that to be my fault it doesn't even feel like it's my fault in the game in Demon Souls it feels like it's the game's design fault I'm not gonna say the game's fault because the game can be fun but those moments are few and far in between the boss I by far had the most fighting fun fighting was probably tower knight tower knight was actually a fun fight armor spider was tedious because then you're just waiting for these certain moments to do damage fool's idol was cool fool's idol was a cool design you know with the you gotta figure out which one is her and which one is the illusion like leech monger the area before it is just hard as fuck and a waste of my fucking time um adjudicator re being able to refight the vanguard demon was really cool but the blue eyed skeletons in the beginning with it being such an area you might end up going to early on in the game because of the way the boss order is designed in the wiki just make it absolutely insane and ridiculous for you to go there so it just makes the area fucking miserable um but the adjudicator boss fight was pretty fucking easy i think i killed that boss first try uh fool's idol took me two tries tower knight took me i think seven or eight tries i think phalanx was obviously first fucking try armor spider probably took me the most tries for a boss um leechmonger i fought four or five times but it took me three or four hours to get to get those attempts in because of how many times i died just in between the next one i fought was uh, Flame Lurker, I fought him three or four times, I think, and I killed him. Dragon God took me five or six tries, and I'm on Old Monk, and in an hour and a half, I've had four attempts, and I'm just sick and tired of it. The Diminishing Returns is absolutely ridiculous and insane, and I'm just kind of done with it, I guess. The third, one of the, another reason, which is gonna make us you consider an honorable mention before I mention the last reasoning I have, uh, I just have corrupted footage. If you guys go to my YouTube channel and you go to my Demon Souls playlist, I do not have a video on Fool's Idol, so you'll have to excuse that. But if you go to Tower Knight, the Tower Knight video, I literally state that during the recording of the fight, I accidentally muted the microphone because I was trying a new recording method previously and I forgot to undo it. I only have the attempt in which I actually killed the boss. The Armor Spider video, I ended up like struggling with that. I My camera footage for the video is completely corrupted. The camera footage is completely corrupted. So I can't like, you know, I, I don't have a finished product there either. I have simply just what is my final attempt after five or six attempts. I, my fool, all of fool's idol is gone. All of fool's idol is gone. So these technical issues actually like make me want to, <laughs> maybe not want to play the game on top of that. And again, that's a personal gripe. That's not a gripe with the game, but that's just myself. My last big issue is it's meant to punish you. Uh, from the little bit of D uh, Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3 that I've seen, like the very tiny bit, um, and the tiny bit, like the 30 minutes of Bloodborne I've played, the, the I've seen the serpent boss in Sekiro, which I'm terrified to fight, but I'm also excited to play Sekiro. From everything that I've played in Elden Ring, it doesn't seem like the game is out to really get me. And what I mean by that is back to my first point, which is the boss runbacks. The game doesn't feel like it's there to be a challenge. It feels like it's there to be a nuisance. If there's enough support for this game, I will come back and play it. 100%. I'll come back, we'll play some more Demon Souls, and I'll beat the game. But at this current moment, with how the videos have been going, as much as I appreciate the support on them, and as much as I appreciate you guys going back and forth with me, like in stream and on YouTube and such, for me, I just, I'm, I'm done. For now um if you guys want to see some more demon souls let me know in the comments below if you really want to see any other content other than what we usually post which is going to be going back to the call of duty live comms um i took a break from youtube for a bit to try out streaming and i'm going to be discussing why i've been going back and forth a lot recently in a later video but um yeah we're gonna move back to call of duty live comms so if you guys did enjoy today's video if you guys want to see demon souls or any other variety content let me know down in the comment section below 
Uh, don't forget to leave a like on today's video if you guys did enjoy it really helps the channel grow it also lets you know that you enjoyed the content don't forget to subscribe for more videos in the future until next time this is dia signing off have a fantastic rest of your day and i'll see you in the next video peace guys